Don't keep going, just keep moving. Imagine yourself having to walk or ride a bike 20 to 30 miles to and from work every day. How much sleep would you lose? How much energy would have to be used? Automobiles were created to help with the amount of energy that is taken to travel great distances. They are faster and more efficient than walking. Cars have truly enslaved us. Why? The answer is simple. People all over the world depend on their cars. Without cars, traveling far distances would be nearly impossible. The invention of the automobile took quite some time and determination. It all happened when a young boy with a dream grew up and fulfilled it. His name was Carl Benz. He invented what was said to be the first automobile. Automobiles can be defined as wheel motor vehicles that are used for transportation purposes. Some of its many uses are transporting people, materials, technology, and important information. In the year of 1886, the automobile made its first appearance. The Ford T model was introduced in 1908 and is the foundation for our cars today. The first cars were very unsafe. The brake system that was used was not very efficient. Speeds of cars could not exceed 10 to 15 miles per hour at the time. The first models, much like the convertibles today, had no roofs, making them significantly dangerous. In addition to that, without good brake systems, the cars were often very difficult to stop. Benz was the first person to incorporate brake systems into cars. Driving down the street at a speed of 120 miles per hour, you see a red stoplight up ahead. What will you do? Stop, right? But what if you didn't have a working braking system? A brake is a device for slowing or stopping a moving vehicle, typically by applying pressure on the wheels. Brake systems date all the way back even before the Roman Empire. They were created to stop rolling objects from moving. The first among these brake systems was the wooden block brake system. Block brake systems were the most simple kind. They involved using a brake lever that simply pushed a block on a wheel. Because of the friction, the wheel slowly came to a stop. Block brakes became very inefficient when the rubber car tires were invented. It was then that the brake system had to be upgraded. The mechanical drum brake was developed after rubber tires began to be put in use. French engineer Louis Renault invented the drum brake in 1902 to take care of this issue. The brake is put in the back of the vehicle which causes them to generate less heat. The brake was much more efficient than the wooden block. When the driver pushes the brake pedal, the piston works to push the brake shoes against the drum brake which causes it to stop. The drum brake is considered the foundation of the modern day brakes today. Brake systems have become more efficient and safer over the years. People have altered brake systems to ensure that they work efficiently with the way tires have changed over time. Engineers have created a brake known as the emergency brake, which ensures that a car will not roll down a hill. The purpose of the emergency brake is not to stop a car from any speed, but to keep a car in place. Cars today have the lever as an emergency brake. Once you pull the emergency brake lever, it turns a screw which presses the pistons against the disc brake. Hydraulic powered brakes were brought in 1918 by Malcolm Lockheed. The idea was to transfer fluid to the brake pedal, to the pistons, and then to the brake shoes. The system is designed to be airtight, which causes the fluids to be forced through the system. By the late 1920s, the system was used in high-priced vehicles and shortly after in all types of vehicles. Hydraulics is used to increase force and torque. Using the ideas of the hydraulic brake system, Frederick Lanchester created the disc brakes in England in the 1890s. Although they were created so early in time, they were not very popular until they were featured on the Studebaker Avanti, a luxurious car which was a car that everyone wanted to have. The disc brake is more efficient than the hydraulic braking system because less pressure is used to force a car to stop. However, hydraulic brakes eliminate the disadvantages of friction that cables have. Hydraulic brakes are also significantly easier to modulate because there is more force delivered to the pads, hence more stopping power. The disadvantages of hydraulics occur when you get a leak hole because, at that point, they are unrepairable. The automobile changed the world for the better in the 20th century. 
However, without the contribution of the brake in the car, made by Carl Benz, people would be unable to stop at a stop sign or stop at a stoplight when necessary. The world would be an ongoing car race day after day, including many crashes and many life loss. Remember, safety comes first from driving, and brakes institute that into the world.